All right, all right, all right, Virgo. Oh, where my bracelets at? Hold on, Virgo. What is the word, y'all? What is going on? It is Scorpion Red. You heard what I said. It is me. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds. Happy New Year, you guys. What's going on? Now, listen. I know y'all already want to cuss me out because I had already recorded y'all video. And as y'all know, my dumb ass deleted this shit. So, this is the review. We about to redo it over. All right? And um, I will tell you what the title was. But it's irrelevant now. So, we're going to get some new good energy we're gonna figure out what's going on with you guys thank you guys so much for your patience and your endurance waiting for me to record this video because i'm slim slow okay so listen if you guys want to link up with me if you want to um like share and subscribe thank you so much number one thank you so much for clicking this video if you want to book a personal private reading um the booking page and all my contact information the best way to get in contact with me is on instagram and i only do video readings so um we need to connect through instagram once you book the reading so that we can do your video reading if you don't have instagram you can use google hangouts and just use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and then we can do the video chat there or if you have any questions we can just communicate through Google Hangouts or Instagram, or you could just email me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Um, my uh, if you would like to send support, number one, on um, these decks that I'm using today, the archetypes deck and the in between tarot decks were all donated by you guys. So, thank you again for like all of your love and support. Like, you guys have been amazing throughout 2019 because I got this deck on my birthday. So thank you so much. Um, if you guys want to send some love and support, you can always send love and support, number one, by clicking the like button. And um, the PayPal, the Cash App, and the Amazon wish list where y'all have sent all these wonderful decks um, is all listed in the About tab. So thank you guys again for all the love and support. We're going to do a quick prayer over this energy after I take a swig of some water. And we're going to see what we got for January. All right, hold on. Alright, so, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. It is the new year. It is 2020 time. It is show me the money time, Father God. We've been being patient, and we've been waiting on our blessings, and Father God, we just know. We know for sure that it's here this time. Like, we don't walk through the door of our success and our glory and our happiness and our self-love and abundance and we just know it is many, many, many more blessings in the year of 2020. So we're thanking you now for the blessings that are coming ahead in the future, Father God. Please give the sign of Virgo guidance. Give us love. Give us uplifting, encouraging words. Give us healing words that can help us process anything that we may be dealing with. Um, because, you know, there's victory and glory all in 2020. And it's going to start with making the right steps and the right movements in January. Because our steps have been ordered. Yes, God. So we thank you now. We thank you here. And we thank you for the blessings in the future. Thank you so much. Please give us guidance for January for my Virgos. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got popping off for my Virgos. Let's see what we got. What's the word? Hope y'all been being good so far in 2020. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot of stuff going on online. Child, I don't know if it's just my Facebook uh, <laughs> friends. Child, listen. Goodness gracious. Oh, y'all flipping all out like that. That's just a lot. Eros. Okay. We got the seed, we got the mystic, we got the vision, we got the river, and we got the womb. That's interesting. That is interesting indeed. So, I'm really seeing pregnancy here. Or it might just be a rebirth of new life here. And I'm seeing a lot of eyes and this is like heavenly about either right now you're in a state where you're starting this new year and your vision is very keen with that mystic card right here. Like I said, you might have metamorphed. Whatever it was, however it was that you were moving in 2019, 2018, that has changed. 
you have cocooned yourself and you have came out that beautiful butterfly you have keen vision um this right here i feel like a lot of things is kind of going hand in hand in your life right now this owl shows a lot of quiet patient and reserved energy to me just looking like like seriously like just being quiet and watching everything and even with the mystics you see the eyes you see the butterfly you see all of the vibration the colors and things it's like you're vibrating on a total different level right now you see more in color you see things with a different level of intensity these trees back here shows like being rooted growth like I said endurance being able to endure all different phases of the weather you understand the river to me means emotional balance and there goes a Mustang right there or well to me that's a Mustang like going very very far going very very far Maybe in the, I feel like in the past you went through a murky period where there might have been some level of emotional imbalance. I'm seeing the heart chakra here. I am seeing the solar plexus and the root chakra. So I feel like at some point in time in your life you might not have known who you really are. You know, um, maybe feel like there was a lack of stability. Or protection around your stability. Um, I feel like your heart moves freely. Um, I don't feel that you have any limitations on your ability to love. But with that solar plexus. That solar plexus chakra basically controls what you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if for some reason if there's some murky water around. You kind of knowing who you are. Where you stand. Uh, being grounded in something like regardless of what your heart intentions is if you're not kind of rooted emotionally in where you're going and when you where you stand and who you are like you can really easily kind of be emotionally manipulated and what you do can be altered do you understand what I'm saying so that's why I'm really when I seen it I'm seeing this I feel like whatever type of like you've crossed that path that river like you've galloped over that river of whatever emotional insecurity whatever um there's a lot more confidence right here right now and i feel like you're moving there's final there's movements and you see where that solar plexus is kind of like crowning and just all around this it's like you know what you want to do now and like you're going for it do you understand like that's why this arrows in the seed like speaking blessings into your life you know what i'm saying and not only that like putting a certain level of passion intensity clarity um you know like shining like a diamond it's like basically every word that you speak um has a level of passion and intensity in it where your desire is so much more greater. So your desire for what you speak is so great that your intensity and the energy that you're putting around these seeds that you're planting, you speak gems, you speak blessings. It's like you, like you don't found a seed that can grow. A, I've been saying it a lot recently because I've been seeing it in here. There's this like diamond rose or like a crystal rose that's growing out of the ground in one of these cards. But it's like shining like a diamond or like a crystal. And it's like maybe you have the technique or the ability to grow this crystal rose and something. And like maybe people don't believe you like, no, I'm trying to tell you I'm speaking gems. I'm speaking gems. I, I'm going to grow this diamond rose. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. The mystic, it's like you believe in something that maybe other people don't believe in. You see something that other people don't see. And that's better for you. <laughs> so, they can't get in your way. While you're blossoming and you're flying towards your destiny. Good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because 
seeing is believing and that's why i'm saying with this mystic and this vision here like it's not about you anymore needing support from other people to, to, to validate what you're seeing and what you believe you have the determination to emotionally gallop over any emotional doubt any words of lack even opening your eyes so that you can see more clearly this can also be you galloping over people trying to emotionally direct you and where you think you should go it's like no i know where i'm going you know this womb right here birth there is something growing in the womb there's something growing in the gut all of this red, this is the root chakra. I know who I am. I'm aware. I feel protected. I'm grounded. You know? I have a certain level of insight now. And it's deep rooted within inside my womb in my gut. And it's growing. And it's showing. You know? And then you got the triangle, the trinity. You know? Your heart. What, what is it? Um, mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. Focus on the growth within the womb. The seed that is being planted. That gem that you are speaking into fruition. That you're speaking into reality. But I just want to just get a clarification on arrows. Because I know that whatever. I know that that's not. Yeah, arrows. Love as a desire. Eroticism. Sensuality. Through arrows can be depicted as unbridled sexuality and eroticism. Like I'm trying to tell somebody is about to have a baby. If it's not about you creating something new, Eros, the seed, the mystic, you've blossomed and grown. Like this is someone that could have grown sexually, that has a certain level of confidence in them um like this could be someone that is that, that that just hit that their sexual peak do you understand it's like i see now who i am i have a vision like i like i've been waiting for like this could even be someone that at like have you ever like had a child and like you might have lost your libido for a little bit you know like learning how to be a mother you know what i'm saying because <laughs> do you understand what i'm saying like when your body is not yours, it's a vessel, it's a tool to take care of your tea, your child. Sometimes you can lose your libido. So this might be someone stepping back up into their sexual peak. And if this is an issue with you where you might have had a loss of sex drive, a loss of libido, because I'm really getting like you might not have really found anyone that you're attracted to. I want you to start speaking those blessings into yourself and plant that seed. You understand? And vibrate on that level. That mystic, you can call it into yourself. You just have to envision it and be patient and wait and let those vibrations come to you. You have to get over whatever emotional insecurity it is that you that, that you have and get going. You understand? You have this passion, like deep rooted in your womb and i really do feel like 2020 like there will be a child created yeah i'm definitely getting this it says more than contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy it leads us to the root of desire itself what do we long for why are we awakened by love what makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being nature music art plants food or anything we um perceive we are separated from at this moment so it's something that you do not have in your life that you feel like you want to plant that seed so that that passion that intimacy you know it's again Love as a desire. You know what I'm saying? Eroticism, sensuality. You know? The root of desire that is self. So if your root of desire is to overcome any type of emotional barriers of lack, 
you know, and a triumph over that, and a new day, you planting a new season, you're trying to speak lessons into your life, this card, number one, is just being in love with what you want to love, you understand what I'm saying, loving it so much that you're speaking those gems into it, like, literally, every time that you speak, you are, like, calling to God, you're calling to the universe, this is the seed that I want to plant, I, I believe in my words, my wisdom, and my vision, you know what I'm saying? That I can call this into fruition. And for some of you guys, it is about, like, I feel like a family and childbirth. And I really do feel like some people have stepped into their sexual peak. It's ever they stepped into their sexual peak and they're ready to, like, kind of get out there and intertwine with someone of the opposite sex to create something or... Something has been created within you, within your womb, and you're ready to get over whatever barriers that you've been allowing to limit you. And now you're speaking blessings into your life. Okay, we got the king of coins here. We got the eight of coins. We got the ace of coins. We have the six of wands, the four of cups, and the eight of swords. All right? And then right under that, you got the seven of swords. So that means outsmarting your competitor, being quick with it, being um, like manipulative, even if you have to, like kind of like going for what you want and not allowing your competition to outbeat you or outsmart you like literally using all your resources and all of the knowledge that you have to beat the competitor. So right here, we got the king of coins here. All right. So, you know, Virgo, there you go. There you go, right there. You know, the king of coins. So this is someone that is focused, that is driven on their finances, home security, um, family, just like security and happiness, uh, wanting their children to grow big and strong and smart so they can pass on the legacy. Um, this could be someone that is like a builder or... Um, they can either do some like type of factory work, can work with animals. Um, this is someone that can have uh, like an auto mechanic building. Uh, or they can even like be a factory worker. Uh, uh, what do they call them? Like the drivers and stuff like that. The drivers, like they deliver or, or, or them people that be on them heavy machineries you know them big ass cranes and shit like that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing some type of builder I want to say that this is like a trade that's been passed down like their father was a carpenter and and, and the father and the uncle had a business or something and they might want this man to step up and run the business like I feel like this person has kind of been trained since a child to uh, you know, take over the business or something to that aspect. Yeah, it's like being passed down through generation. Whatever it is, it's somebody that does stuff with their hands. They create something. You got this eight of coins here. Um, so with this king of coins and this eight of coins right here I'm getting that this could possibly be someone that even though that they know that they can be successful in this trade that is being handed down to them by their family I feel like they really don't want to work in that field like they have a passion and desire for something else maybe they want to be a speaker they want to be um, on TV they want to be an entertainer they want to be in education like they don't want to do manual labor and things like that like that's not what they want to do do you understand um they're not going to really waste their time working towards that because I'm not even going to lie to some aspect they know I'm not even really that good at this shit like y'all are good at this shit like look at the child's face like uh, I guess y'all show sure, y'all sure y'all want me to work on this <laughs> like can you understand what I'm saying like I don't really like doing this but I guess I'll do it because you want me to do it do you understand what I'm saying I'll do it because you want me to do it and then you got the king of wands in the reverse. So this is someone that is, as you can see, this is a woman that is walking her child into a school to get some type of education, walking past a, a, a 
a class that has graduated. So as this child is walking into the school, being ushered in by the principal, the dean, or whoever it is, this child is looking at what your success, what your victory is looking at. They're walking past a graduating class to show you, like, this is going to be you in the future. But for some reason, I, I, I want to say this has something to do with a child being made to follow the family business and this child doesn't want to do that. This person wants to be a speaker. This person wants to be an entertainer. This person wants to be a star. You see how that star is up there? This person wants to be a star. You see that, look, the eagle up there? Remember I told you this person is like emotionally determined to follow their heart and find love as a passion. It's like Whatever they want to reconnect in their life that they're not experiencing right now. And it could very much so be the fact that they want to be an entertainer. That they want to be a star. They don't want to be no factory worker. They don't want to get their hands dirty. I have a talent of something else. Like, these people listen to me. Like, why don't y'all see that? Like, I don't want to... I don't want to go to school for something that I don't want to do. And I know that I'm not good at. I understand that... All of those other people graduated and that's good for them, but that's not my journey. Do you understand? Like that's that's not my journey. It's like whatever it is that they're feeling like that they're being forced or made to do by their family, it's like they're not going to lie to themselves. Like they know that they're not good at it. And now we got this eight of swords right here. This is the eight of swords, right? Yeah, this is someone feeling like trapped in, in prison. Like they can't move in their bound to feeling obligated to follow this path and go through this education and go through this schooling even though yeah my dad and my aunts and everybody else say yeah they, they were successful at doing that but I don't I don't know if that's the right thing for me so and this could have something to do with your children as well you guys if this is you where you might be like kind of forcing your children to learn or to practice or study uh football basketball karate uh being a chef uh being an auto mechanic like whatever it is this this child is going to put i feel like you guys trying to make the child see your vision and what you're trying basically what you're trying to hand down to the child the child doesn't want it the child is like rejecting it like emotionally it's not fulfilling for them and i feel like if you don't catch on um like you, the child's going to turn it back on you and they're not going to really be receptive to anything because it's i feel like you're not respecting their emotions you're not expecting their emotions this child listen Time is of the essence, and you have to focus on supporting your children on what they're actually good at and what they want to do. Your child wants to be a star. Your child doesn't want to work in the fields. Your child doesn't want to fix cars. Your child doesn't want to do that. Your child doesn't want to go to school to learn how to be a psychologist or whatever the fuck it is that, you know what I'm saying? Your child doesn't want to do that. What your child actually wants to do, they're going to start again right in the middle. Your child is good. These people really do listen to your baby. Time is of the essence. Why allow your child to go to school, study a craft that they are not good at? They're not even ashamed of saying, I'm not, I suck at this shit. I don't want to do this shit. I'm suck at it because I don't want to do it and I don't like doing it. I'm a fucking star. Don't, and the child doesn't want it. It's, 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 no, listen, this is a lack of success. This is a lack of victory. Um, and then you can look at this card. This is the Six of Wands. Typically, the Six of Wands is someone that is receiving merit, that's receiving victory, that they're, they're receiving their claim to fame. Like, everyone loves them. Everyone is cheering for them. Everyone is happy to see them. Do you understand? This Six of Wands is going to the Seven of Wands. And you know the Seven of Wands goes into arguments, conflict, uh, feeling like you have to defend yourself. You see, this is basically saying, with this being in the reverse... The success that 
I guess you were looking for in trying to raise your child to follow the lineage, you know, craft or skill. As you can see, you see the, the, the boy walking away, throwing the crown down, and the woman fighting, you know, like seeming like she's having to defend or to battle against several different wands and whoever this is just throwing the crown down and walking away so i want to tell y'all like you're not going to be successful you're not going to be successful in trying to push this child into doing and following whatever life purpose it is that you want them to do they don't want it they feel trapped and the only reason why they feel trapped is because they feel like they have to live up to your expectations for them but at the end of the day it's all going to blow up in your face you know what i'm saying like this child could end up eventually uh resenting you for keep trying to push them towards something that was not their passion or something that they didn't want to do because it's like that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not what your baby wants to do. I want you to allow your baby to be a star. You know? And that's probably their energy up there is just like, listen. Um, I have to follow my passion. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, their drive, their... Like, they, they, are, they have a very intimate desire to plant this seed and to grow. They see who they are. They have their own path and their own purpose. And they see that, you know. And maybe people still see them at this caterpillar stage. And they're not. They're the fucking, they're the fucking butterfly. Do you understand? Their vision is clear. Like, I, I, I don't feel like anyone can emotionally control them anymore. Like, it's rooted in their womb, in the gut. Disturbance. You know. Emotional disruption. Um, there's some type of emotional disruption in regards to a situation with love, and it's like a tsunami of like emotional flood. You see how the, the water is about to tower over and crush these buildings. It's like, how in the hell? It's just too much emotional turbulence here, and then there's no peace with this dove who wants to kind of be set free. Um, it's like I love you, but at the same time, like. Let me give me more information about this love situation with Virgo because this is family. This is someone trying to get themselves reconnected into the passion and what they love, getting their sexual drive and their intimacy level, and they feel sexy, they feel vibrant. Listen, indestructible. What is this? Bread, hospitality. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen. And this could even be someone trying to force someone to be what they want them to be. Like, this could even be a relationship where it's like someone is trying to force someone to be the perfect picture of what the fuck they want them to be. But that's not who, the, that's not who I am. You know? That's not who I am. This is causing an emotional disturbance in my life. I really want to be set free and let. Peace come into my life, but I feel like there's some sense of obligation because the King of Pentacles is someone that is a family man is a, that that is very relatable in regards to um, being able to touch down with their kids and like that's 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 the man that's going to get on the floor and play with their children and do the race cars. It's going to be there at every single basketball game or cheerleading uh, competition that you know will go out in the yard and work with the kids to help them take care of the animals like it's a very loving father do you understand so it might have something to do with that and even though this is the king of pentacles card you could clearly see that there's a woman standing over a child like trying to teach a child how to make these objects and the child does not seem like they want to do that or that they feel confident in it so if you are a male virgo and you see like the mother of your children kind of like forcing your children to go to like ballet practice or soccer practice or you know something and you know that this is causing emotional disturbance for your child that you love your children. You understand what I'm saying? And for some reason, you know that this is a, this is just the child. Like, they're not indestructible the way that an adult is. Like, they can be easily hurt. 
and it can affect them for the rest of their life. And it's like, I feel like being forced to do and be something that they don't want to be, it can uh, impact the brain. Do you understand? And I don't feel like this Virgo is going to be very hospitable to that type of energy anymore. It's like they're not going to feed it anymore because... You know how I say sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me? No, they do. You understand? Because there is a such thing as emotional and um, emotional abuse and, uh, yeah, the emotional abuse. So what is this? They go to diamond. Didn't I tell y'all something about a damn diamond? They go to diamond. This person has made a promise to their self to... Not allow other people and their wants and their desires to affect and afflict their passions and their wants and their desires for what the hell they're trying to plant, what they have growing inside their gut. I know exactly what I want. And whoever this is that's trying to force them to be something, it's like, okay, this is the dreaming in the bottom. Do you understand this mushrooms? Like, this is someone that's dreaming and that's fantasizing that's in this type of illusion that this person is going to change and that they can shape and mold someone. You can't shape and mold me to be what the fuck you want me to be. Do you understand? And maybe where where's though before Virgo was allowing this to happen to them or even happen to their child. Do you understand? Or even that could have even been the Virgo as... When they were a child, you know what I'm saying? Or someone's trying to talk to Virgo as if they're a child. trying to, You know, but it's, it, it doesn't matter. It's like, Virgo, something has been awakened in them where they have this level of passion and intensity in, to, in them. And they know exactly, they see exactly what it is that they want. And it ain't whatever it is that this person is trying to create with them. It's like, I respect you and I love you. But I got to love myself and I know what I want to be and I know who I am and I'm a star and I have a successful, a successful new beginning in my life that has a lot of longevity and, and, and abundance in it and only time will tell, you understand, but I, I don't, I don't see them wasting their time and then the ace of pentacles also represents very very good strategic planning do you understand what i'm saying what is this the voyage the journey yeah the, the okay the, yeah okay virgo is definitely moving on i told you the mustang right here the mustang this is the ten of this is the ten of diamonds it's like basically i've reached um the level of success that i came to achieve here you know um Thank you for allowing me to provide the services. I'm gracefully bowing out. It's time for me to start a new journey, a new path in life. So this is like literally packing up and, 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 and going on your own. Yeah, because listen, this quarrel is something I'm trying to tell you. And you see that this came out in the reverse. I typically do not read these in the reverse. But I feel like, you know, the Virgo wants to avoid a disturbance, a quarrel. Um, the seven of spades represents something that they didn't see. That's basically like the tower. You understand? Like something that they didn't see coming, like an unfortunate um, blow up. You know? And I feel like this Virgo is going to voyage and they're going to leave because they're trying to avoid a quarrel. Like, I'm not going to keep... Arguing and fighting and, and, and trying to convince you that, you know, what is this right here? Infantism. I'm trying to tell it's someone trying to son the Virgo. It's either their parent trying to son them. It's either somebody that they're with in a sexual way trying to son them. And Virgo ain't with that shit. It's like I've reached all of the success that I could reach here. This is the nine of spades. The nine of spades represents complete failure. Like, recognizing complete failure. And then, also, what is this? This infantism represents someone that is being extremely inconsiderate and immature. Like, they're not really thinking about their actions and how it affects other people. They want what they want. They react off the of impulse. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, this is Virgo saying, listen, we've done all we can do here. Thank you so much for this experience. It's time for, the me, for me to move on. I've reached all the success that I can here. Um, because I'm not, I'm not going to continue to, to feed this. I'm not going to be hospitable. And no, at the end of the day, I'm not indestructible. You know what I'm saying? The shit that you are trying to do to me, 
it's abusive. I'm not a fucking child. You understand what I'm saying? And this situation woke up. It planted a seed. It, it, it got Virgo down deep in their gut and their womb. I don't have to sit here and deal with this bullshit. My heart wants what my heart wants. And I want to move on. Listen, my heart wants what my heart wants. I have a desire. My passion. Thank you for keep trying to sum me and treat me like a child or doing whatever the fuck it is. Because it made me wake up and realize I ain't no motherfucking child. And you ain't my motherfucking mother. And you ain't my motherfucking child. I mean, you ain't my father. You understand what I'm saying? Virgo woke up and started speaking blessings into their life. I want a new relationship with some good sex. I don't know if this was a relationship that wasn't sexually fulfilling or something like that. But listen, whatever it is, Virgo was moving away from it. Virgo was moving away from it. They have a brand new seed that's planted a whole brand new desire. And I feel like a lot of it does have to do with... Like, they really just want a very strong, passionate, intimate, loving, uh, like, deeply sexual, just like some bomb-ass sex. They don't want to be dealing with nobody where somebody is trying to sun them, trying to tell them, oh, well, you need to go get a factory job, or you need to go do the... No, motherfucker, I'm not... Hello, motherfucker. No. I'm a star. Regardless if you like it or not, you ain't got to believe in me. Listen, only time will tell. And the time is telling me that I'm going to be successful and I don't got time to waste. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Anyway, Virgo, this has been y'all's reading. Because all of that trying to push this person to be what they wanted to be, it ain't do nothing but blow up in their face and black fire. Look at Virgo taking that crown and throwing that shit down. And, and now everybody's attacking this person now because why the fuck did you do that to Virgo? Why did you do that to Virgo? Now this person got an answer to the... Y'all and y'all know that it's always been this story about Virgo being in this controlling ass relationship and Virgo family and everybody like, bitch, we will fuck you up. Okay, we ain't about to do that. Okay, we ain't about to do that. Virgo made a promise to themselves. Look, I'm a diamond. I'm a fucking diamond. And I was meant to shine. You understand? You can't dim my light. You can't recreate my shimmer, baby. I am what I am. I'm going to be who the fuck I'm going to be. That part. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all Virgo, this has been y'all reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I am the diamond. I am what I am and I'm going to be who the fuck I'm going to be. God damn it. Listen, anybody trying to motherfucker recreate you to try and tell you who you going to be, it's going to blow right on up in their face, honey. And Virgo said, uh-uh. You will not see success in that venture. Boop. Bye. <laughs> I'm out. Peace.